Hey everyone, it's Brian. Welcome back to Trade Talk Tuesday. Today we're doing something fun. It's our first edition of a new episode that we call Trash or Stash. This is a new segment where we take a single stock that's been in the news and popular on discussion boards and we put it through the ringer, all to determine if it should be stashed away in your portfolio for massive future gains or if it should be thrown into a massive hot pile of red hot garbage. The first stock to face the trash or stash gauntlet is Digital World Acquisition Corp. Stock ticker here is DWAC. All right, so as you can probably tell by that vague name, this isn't a company that actually makes anything. It's just an official sounding name to hang on a bunch of rich people who wanna buy companies that they hope will someday make money. And that, my friends, is essentially what Wall Street calls special purpose acquisition companies. This particular special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC, caught the attention of investors last October when it announced it was merging with former President Donald Trump's hot new social media platform. At that time, shares of this almost non-existent company jumped 800% in just two trading sessions as investors with little to no understanding of social media thought to themselves, hey, that sounds like a great idea. Well, the earnestly named Truth Social is essentially a complete Twitter clone created entirely because one single person got banned from Twitter. And the platform bills itself as a free speech social media alternative where like-minded truth seekers can offload their thoughts without fear of being canceled or even gently criticized. I mean, the hype around this thing was intoxicating. Here was a former president of the United States with a fanatical following looking to show the big, bad, mean social media companies who canceled him how it's done. Well, of course it was gonna be a huge success, right? Well, then it launched. And the launch was a heaping pile of dog <laughs> On day one, users logged on to Truth Social to find that they had been added to a wait list. So here's this new app, which is being touted as a Twitter killer that did not have the capacity to add a modest number of users without crashing the entire platform. At one point, their users, and by users, I mean people stuck in a digital queue, circulated screenshots that suggested over 1 million users were on the wait list. But those who successfully completed the gauntlet of waiting were granted access to a platform only to discover that it looked like a cautionary vision given to Twitter by the ghost of Christmas future. The entire app was a ghost town, haunted by several guys who were just there to tout their own podcast. Oh, and Congressman Devin Nunes too. Barely anybody was tweeting. Oh, oh, sorry, I mean, truthing. I mean, not even the one person who has the attention span of his six-year-old that the app was created around. So here's what happened. Since the launch of Truth Social, former President Trump has posted only one single truth. And I'm not even making this up. That's actually what they're called. And he has 140,000 followers. That's right, 140,000 versus the 70 million followers he had on Twitter. Does this feel to you like, you know, what, the next Trump stakes? Or oh, man, maybe it's the next Trump University. As for the claim that Truth Social is a free speech platform, the app is actually saddled with pretty much the exact same guidelines and policies that every other major social media platform has. In fact, in many respects, the speech on this new app is even more limited. So within days of launching, a user was banned for claiming to be a cow owned by Republican Congressman Devin Nunes, who also happens to be the CEO of Truth Social. In addition, users have to agree not to disparage Truth Social in any way. Now listen, say what you want about Twitter, but at least you're allowed to go onto Twitter and say that Twitter sucks. In fact, talking about how Twitter sucks is actually one of the funniest things about Twitter. I mean, some people make a good living talking about how badly Twitter sucks, but that's where DWAC failed. You see, Twitter is so engaging because half of the users think it sucks and the other half thinks it's awesome, and the result is a non-stop debate 
which equates to massive user engagement. And actually, this happens with every other topic on Twitter as well. But with Truth Social, guess what? Everyone agrees. There's nothing to get pissed off about. There's no users to hate. And as a result, there's nothing to bring anyone back to this app. I mean, poorly planned, not engaged social media companies, they're a dime a dozen in the valley. Add in Truth Social's parade of blunders, and guess what? The emperor just walked out of his closet, and he ain't wearing any clothes. Oh, let's take a look at their balance sheet. Pull this up. This company has only, as of right now, $1.49 million in cash. And guess what? Their book value per share, that is what happens when Wall Street like liquidates all their assets and essentially sells them for parts. You know what that is? That's negative 24 cents. So here we go. Ready? At the risk of being censored myself, here's the real truth nugget for you. This simply can't last. Social media companies, they rely heavily on advertising. So after this dumpster fire of a launch, can you see a world where new ad dollars are going to be beating down DWAC's door? I mean, heck no. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone on Truth Social has already bought themselves plenty of my pillows. So that answer is clearly no. And even if you ignore the raging dumpster fire of Truth Social, DWAC has itself plenty of its own red flags, not the least of which was the 800% stock price run up that I mentioned earlier. Here's a company with zero revenue and zero performance has history that's now suddenly valued on Wall Street at 20 billion. And their entire existence is based on the attention span of one man. So you have to ask yourself, who is out there buying this stock? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's another red flag. The company's largest shareholder and the originator of Digital World Acquisition Corp is Arc Capital. They're a Shanghai-based company with a history of SEC investigations. According to the bean counters at the SEC, ARK has a nasty habit of misrepresenting shell companies with no products and few employees as buzzy startups that are doing amazing things. Kind of like, you know, inventing a new type of social media. With all that said, do you think that Digital World Acquisition Corp is trash? Or do you think it's a stock that you're willing to put your own dollars into and stash. Let's pause for drama. What else could this thing be? This is nothing more than a golden pie crust with no filling. It's got no revenue, it's overvalued, and it's stuck with a useless Twitter clone where it's against the rules to complain. At best, this stock is worth 10 bucks, and I'm being generous in that assessment. Throw this hot mess into the garbage because this one is unmistakable trash. And that's the real truth. If you like this episode and you'd like more trash or stash picks, drop me a note below on which stock you'd like to see profile next. Nothing is off the table, so feel free to just comment away and go nuts. And if you want more picks, click or scroll below to see how you can get our top picks delivered right to you every single Wednesday. And on that note, I'm Brian. As always, stop hating, start trading. I hope you enjoyed Trash or Stash. I want to do more in the future. So check back for more episodes. And on that, have a great week and cue my exit.